good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to start this off with a quick introduction. Um, so I've decided as well I'm going to start uploading these to YouTube straight away. Um, going to be doing, doing live streams on Twitch and someone recommended going straight to YouTube afterwards so I'm going to start uploading all my uh, things directed to YouTube. Um, so just to start, I do know quite a bit about Green Hell for the main part because I've done quite a lot of story mode. Um, so I sort of know how it works, little bits and pieces, how crafting works, how survival, um, parts of the survival work as well. So that should help. Um, so what I'm going to do is go completely blind for the actual story. So I have no idea how the story really works or why things do what they do. Um, so that should be quite good to sort of get into because a lot of people have told me that the story mode is actually really in-depth and really fun. Um, so we're definitely going to give this a good go today. I vaguely did part of the story mode when it originally came out. But I think it did about six or seven minutes and it just, I'd give up to be fair, and went straight to survival. Um, and sort of learned quite a lot through survival. So we'll flick straight back to Green Hell in the story mode and see how we get on. So, Green Hell story mode. What should we do? Um, walk in the park. How does this actually work? Predators, hostile tribes. Okay, so it's exactly the same as the other one. We'll go for the normal. Welcome to the jungle. We'll go just for a standard game. So it pans out. Yeah, so we did this back in May. Oh no, wait, that is my. 361 survival. No, we'll go for this one. That was my original day that we started it. So let's go for a whole new save and let's see how this pans out. Should be good. I quite enjoy survival mode. Um, I don't really see too many bugs with it to be fair. I'm sure there's quite a few, but um, still a growing game. Um, still a lot of updates to come. I've seen they're about to add a, they're not calling it multiplayer, they're calling it, um, what was it? What was the actual phrase they used? They didn't say multiplayer at all. I think there's a co-op mode. So I don't know if you might have to do a land game only, but we'll see. Okay. I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah. You can come up. Um... You do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Uh, T for walkie-talkies. You can come up. You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in in my backpack. That's not awkward. Hmm. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. I can't hide anything from you. You cannot. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Right, this was roughly what I remember from the story mode. I remember climbing up, having a chat with her. Um, there's a... If I remember rightly, there was a pre-built camp. Um, and that was literally as far as I got ended up stopping. Mm. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Jake, um, <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still? Still, we can't forget Ooh. what we came here for in the first place, I know. I can pick stuff but up for as soon as we're settled in, Why not? I am off to the Dabahuaca village. Hey Sean, how you doing? And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Yeah, not bad, thanks. I caught a little bit of your, um, fee uh, end of your fee pro the other day. Um, 
I caught um, literally right at the very end, just as I logged in, you logged off. I was like, ah, damn. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? Okay, what do we do? I know I'm gonna have to start building stuff to be fair, but let's just have a quick look. Can we actually start taking stuff properly? Yeah, we can. I might as well make a stash of stuff because knowing how the actual survival mode works, I'm gonna need all of this anyway. Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Oh, of course it is. Old trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Typical. Yeah, literally, just as I logged on, I just saw you end, and I was like, oh. I might well, have it. That's everything. We're officially settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should. Maybe we should reconsider this. This isn't I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit Hello. them alone. Cariño. You know, I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. Let's try. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have breakfast. a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. It's alright, buddy. I'll pop by again whenever I see it pop up. But Yaba Huaka. Living deep in the interior of the Amazon. Uh... 80 lost tribes due to the fear of a modern and cruel world. They're isolated. Will they welcome us? Of course they won't. It's a survival game. Nobody will welcome us anyway. Um, they're the key. They know why we're here. Uh, so this is Green Hell. It's a survival game. Um, Dark Frog, do not touch. Deadly. So I've done quite a bit of this story mode. Uh, not the story mode. I've done quite a lot of the survival mode. And this is the actual story. I've never actually done the story before. Um, it's sort of like most other survival games, like Rust or The Forest. Um, there's quite a few games it's pretty similar to. But to be fair, um, I think this does it probably the best of most things I've seen. Um, it's so in-depth. So in-depth. I will take both of you, thank you. Choose a place for a small campfire. No book, fire, small fire. Let's put you on the dead centre here. So you know it's sort of... I wanted to put a fire here, but it hasn't put the fire I here. I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Nope, not if you ask me to. Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not... Sure, yet. Uh, but it feels that way. Three machetes. Not a bad start. So yeah, you'll notice that I've put a fire here, but in actual fact, to make a fire, I need to now go and find six small sticks. And then when you've got six small sticks, it moves on to the next bigger sticks, and then you've actually put a fire down. So it's it, it's really weird, but it's really good. You don't sort of say, I want a fire and throw a fire down. Um, you actually have to now go and make the fire. Um, Luckily for me, I already know what is what and where I need to be chopping to get things, so I should be okay. Um, but I think this is pretty much where I sort of give up in the first one, because I was here for about 45 minutes and didn't understand what the hell I was doing, because all it says is finish building the campfire, but it doesn't actually tell you what to do or why. Um, but from experience, I know that if I chop this really thin tree down... On example, I'll get a load of sticks fall out of it, but it doesn't tell you that you should be chopping chopping trees down or trying to do stuff. Um, so yeah, I quite like the fact it doesn't tell you too much. You just sort of are left to get on with it. Um, and different shaped trees actually do different things as well. Um, so these ones, for example, with the thick trunks, you'll actually get two logs, three long sticks, and about five of each smaller one. Um, same with that one, but then this really thin one, you'll get the same as what I've just chopped. Um, I mean, if you like survival as a genre, um, this is definitely one of the better ones. Mm, what do we need? This is rope. More rope. I'll have another rope. And one more, and that should... F oh no, I need... Oh no, yeah, ten. So you can store ten rope, 
10 small stick and 10 long stick. I'm just taking up all the, pretty much anything that I can find at the minute because I know I'm going to need them at some point. Just seems really stupid to not start stacking up considering I know how long this game can actually be. Small stick, there we go. So that's enough for the first half of the fire. So we know it's when we, when we put the last small stick in, it changes to now normal sticks. I've already got 10 of those, so we'll just plonk them down. And there Looks we go. Looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? Oh, of course uh, you did. Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. Okay, what did I do for fire? Uh, not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Where did we? Did you check fire? everywhere? Is it hundred? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Yeah, there we go, Andrew. Yeah, uh, I'm sort of the same with you, to be fair. I made a fishing rod the other day when I was playing my survival game, and um, I threw it in, and about 12 seconds later, I was like, no, fish hasn't been caught on board of this, and walked away. And someone was like, do you actually know how fishing works? I was like, no, but I assume it takes longer than 12 seconds, and I've not got the patience for it, so I'm not a fisherman. Uh, Craftsman, I had to press N for the notebook. I did not know that. I've been holding C and then going to notebook. Haha! -ha. Learn something new every time. A uh, stick or a plank and a small stick. Okay. So again, when you sort of look at this, it just says you need a stick or plank and then a small stick. Um, but it doesn't actually tell you what to do with it. So luckily, I know if we drop in a stick. Oh, I ain't got any small sticks. Okay, where am I going to get a small stick from? Um, could just chop down another tree, unless there happens to be a small stick just laying on the floor. If not, I'll go and chop it down. Oh, water clean. That's ironic. I don't think I find any clean water yet on survival mode. Can you hit the small sticks to make them into thin sticks? Yes, you can. So there's, again, there's loads of things like this that you don't actually ever get told until you happen to either accidentally do something or just somebody else points it out. Uh, fire star stick. So that was a stick and a small stick. So we go crafting, stick, small stick, craft. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Good thing I found two bird's nests. Saw you coming, mate. Saw you come in. Yes. Oh, Mia. The fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. So when we actually get a little bit it? further, what? you seem so calm. I am calm. Can I skip the conversation? I don't know how to explain it, but no. strangely, it feels safer here to. than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, oh, jaguars. snakes. Oh. Let's not forget the scorpions. <laughs> Mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. Jaguar. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Anyway, um... No, nope, you're right. No, you're right. Let's just get out of the window. With I'm optimistic. If we're gonna find answers, hell, it'll be here. This time, we need to pay attention to the slightest details. Last time, I must have missed something. Last time, you were only making general observations. This time, we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything Yabawaka. will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, that's not how I pronounce they it, don't but... seem to like you. Um, they don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health yes. Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Yes. Way day three. Um... I can't remember what I was saying now. I was waiting for it to stop talking before I said something. Put me off. Oh yeah. 
Um, when we get into this a little bit more, you'll notice um, normally in survival you need like a bit of water and food or something. Whereas this one, you need fat, carbs, protein, and water, and sleep. Um, and after a certain amount of time, you'll just pass out if you don't get enough sleep. So yeah, it's quite in-depth as a survival game. That's why when I started, I was really trying to pick up as many sticks as I could and ropes. Uh, a village, call me the radio when you wake up. There's a little gift left for you. It better be a good gift. Is that that watch? It's going to be the watch in it, which is then going to give me all my stats. Is there anything to pick up? Recording number one. So, I'm on the expedition with my wife, Mia. Oh, we read this hey, before. Mia. Hey, Mia, say hello. Anyway, that's our recording out of the way. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to talk to her through the radio. So we can start working right away. Then we're going to pick this watch up and then we're going to go. Skull Painted Warriors. Uh, well, I'm going Our friends to the, the Yabaka seem to be afraid to talk Sorry, about them. Oh, okay, so they're not the Yabaka. Hmm. How do we call Mira? It said hold T to call Mira. I wonder if it's because we've got okay. a all for now. Cord in was Mia and Jake Higgins day one. Yeah, there you go. Hello, Hello. Mia. Hello, Mia. Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up. Oh no! I thought I'd just talk in my sleep. You left already. Why didn't you wake me up? You know I hate farewells. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You Supreme. thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Supreme protein. Well, I didn't. Got me a watch. Yeah, knew it. Seen this before. Here you go. You can already see I'm losing things on fat. What was that protein? <sighs> exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. Yeah. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. It most certainly can. And that is another thing, your character has an insani uh, sanity meter. I'm trying to keep that up. Oh, honestly, there's so much stuff. So, water, bottom left. Uh, I think fat is the bottom. Uh, sorry, uh, water's bottom right, fat's bottom left, protein's top right, um, and then. Um, Proteins top left and carbs are top right. We've got a time and then a location. Okay, search them for something nutritious and delicious. There was some food down here. Hello, protein bar. Two carbs and a bit of protein, bottom right. Okay, so I'm full on everything. Well rested and well fed. Keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. Come on, love. I'll try to take good something. care of it. Have you found him yet? See, si. and as expected, <clears throat> they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Oh, come on. Just be careful, please. Yes. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. Fine by me. You're Let's right. Go. You're suspicious of technology. Oh, come on. If anything goes Hello, wrong, Krista. I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right, let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. Interesting. I think I saw a few new specimens around here. Check the cork board. Rainforest mammals. Yep, I know about those. Tobacco plants are great for healing venom bites. Agreed. Uh, Yabaka. Dart frog. I lost tribe. Okay, cool. Nothing else. Go to the north. Where is the north? 
this way. Find a tobacco plant. I think tobacco. I think tobacco was. What colour was that? There's five different plants as well. Whoa! Oh no. Fuck me. Well, that sucked. Mia. I knew I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Just me, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Uh, inspect open body. Okay, I got That's massive scratch good. or abrasion. Whatever they call it. Uh, it's yeah, it's scratch. all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? Yes. Please say yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf. Surrounded by yellow flowers. Agreed. That's it. Okay, this one, right I'll go here. look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. Oh, do I actually have to read it? Yeah, I have to read it. Modern era. Yeah, basic dressing. Thank you. Uh, where is the... Uh, okay, so it's from 2, 3, and 4. Chop. 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 Modern air relief, which is then used to craft a leaf bandage. And then you need to view your arm. Uh, what was it, this one? And then drag the leaf bandage onto it. Huzzah! That means I now won't die from uh, an infection, because you will get infections pretty much instantly. Here I am, all wrapped up nicely. Mm. Does it hurt? What do you think? Um, not much. Good. Hopefully, it will heal fast. That's so, what I'm hoping for. Oh, don't doing? chat to a man. I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect Ooh, to be treated one, as one of their own after that. I might take another and one. I should be able to ask some questions then. Couple just to make sure I'm some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The oh. Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm Thank not in any know. danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Right. Any rope? No, I'll follow rope. What? Jake. Day 32. Please come in. Jake. I'm from day need three to day 32. Here. Jake, please. Please answer me. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia! 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 What the hell is going on over there? Right, is there anything to take? It's gonna want me to take stuff, I know it will. If not, I'm gonna try and take something out of my own. Nope. Right, here we go then. One month in. Oh no, come back. This story is oddly annoying, it isn't. Oh, here we go.
interesting. Interesting little start. So I assume that first bit was actually just a slight tutorial in that case. I probably could have skipped all that if I knew that it was a tutorial, but you know. Hello. Hello. Jake, what the hell is going on there? I don't know, I'm passed out. Oh, come on, speak to me, Jake. Uh, Look, you know me to spawn this. I'm sure she was just speaking Spanish. It's been English this whole way, and then we had one Spanish phrase. Okay, so this is where the actual story mode starts in this case. I assume the first sort of few days were then actually a tutorial of telling us how we craft things and how we actually start the game. And now this is actually where we start. Okay, we're in. Here we go. Mia. Mia. And safe drinking water. God damn it, this radio. Okay, so we're full on everything. We don't actually need anything right now. I've got a dialogue and I've got new things to add in the notebook. Uh, <laughs> best quest ever. Find help. Uh, what have we got here? What happened to Mia? Uh, she was coming from a tribe village. She was afraid of something and I was running from something, which was right. So if they're the expedition. No book is wet. Don't have any supplies. Me is not responding. So what can we make? A uh, hand drill, bandage, and a rope. Uh, that's okay. Tobacco leaves for anti venom, which we know about. Manalera. Uh, st oh, stone axe and a torch as well. Stone axe, stick and stone. Do I have anything at all? Nope. I am completely empty. So all the stuff I actually originally had is now gone. Let's have a stick and stone. Hello, stone. I need one stick. One stick. Any stick at all. Where is the sticks? Anything? If not, I guess I could make a little stone uh, blade, like it said to. Um, maybe chop a tree down, take another stone just to be safe. Yeah, because we can chop these really thin trees down for... Well, there we go, small stick. No, I needed a normal stick, not a small one. Um, ah, normal stick. Okay, so craft a stick and stone for an axe. Huzzah. Let's put that into section one. Okay. Okay, R is block. Cool. Is there anything else in this starting area here before we actually move off that I will need? I feel like there's probably going to be loads of stuff around here. Remembering how the actual survival mode works, there's going to be a lot of stuff just laying around that you don't necessarily get told about. Um, you just have to sort of figure it out yourself as you go. Let's have a look and see. I'm going to Hello? Play. Can anyone hear me? I wouldn't have thought so. I had an accident. I don't know what happened. Please, help. There we go. Over. More sticks. So we're about three minutes into the actual story and he's already packing. Fuck. Pretty standard. Considering there was only two of you that turned up, I don't know who he, who else he thinks is actually going to talk to him. Mm. And considering it's sort of the same as survival mode, it's not actually telling us what to do, which is beautiful. Oh, hello you. Popping on by. So we're looking to see where we are. Ooh, let's not fall off that straight away. Okay, what should we do? Um, let's just finish reading this and see what else we can do. Uh, scratches and abrasions, which we know about. Okay, that these level up when we actually start building or killing things. Um, so these are all good. So I'm already on eight out of ten. So I've crafted a few things. Um, harvesting, fishing, spear fishing. What have we got here? Frames, walls, doorways, shed, roofs. So pretty much the exact same stuff as survival. Yeah, pretty much the exact same stuff as survival. So I'm sort of interested with how this might work. 
Um, really, I don't know if it's going to be the same as survival where you just build your own stuff and go and every now and again you might come across something like I can't talk to anyone but I don't really know where to go um oh let's kill this oh I need a blade oh can I make a blade let's try and kill this with some food to start with um craft do you put two of them together yeah stone blade let's get a stone blade and harvest Okay, that'll give me a little bit of food at least. Um, I'm ho well, I'm not hoping, but I assume, just like survival, it's based off a deterioration. So that will actually go bad. Yeah, 19 hours before it goes bad, so we'll need to cook it quite soon. And dirt, what have we got? Increases the chance to get a wound infection. Yep. Uh, eating when dirt leads to parasites and just basically clean yourself to get rid. So for the dirt you will notice in the bottom left there's a status effect which looks like a bit of mud splatter and it's one. Uh, so that goes up to level five. Um, so the higher number you've got down there the more chance you've actually got of getting ill whenever you um, eat something. I'm definitely not going to eat that. I've done that before. That was not fun. So if we wash in this river uh, you'll see in the bottom left it'll start going down and now it's gone so whenever I so if I eat cooked food now I'm not actually gonna get sick um, I think if I actually take mud straight away as well just drop it I should have now unlocked loads yeah cool loads of mud things so this game also you sort of have to know what you're looking for to be able to make things it's quite odd um, Somebody did tell me the higher you level things up, the more you get told as well. Um, but for me, it seems like if you haven't got things on you, it won't ever tell you that you can make anything. Um, but, you know, it's always good to know. Okay, let's have a look down this way. Crab. Oh, toucan. load of feathers and meat which means I can now start making bows and arrows which is good I bet it won't tell me I can make a bow and arrow though in weapons oh no yeah I can make arrows now I've, yeah now I've got feathers it's popped up and said you can now make bow, uh, arrows but it hasn't told me about a bow yet so I'm either missing something or I haven't had enough crafting experience for it to tell me what I'm doing I do really like the graphics on this game and the lighting effects. I think it's quite cool. Ooh, what is this? Hello. I might be. I think I just heard a snake. Oh, it's frogs. Uh, these things get rid of. They get rid of parasites, which is good to know that there's something around here. Dead to water in a camp. Okay, so at least I didn't fail too quick. Literally ran in the right direction. And I found a camp. What is that? A dryer. What do you do with a dryer? Oh, it doesn't actually say. Okay. What's this one? Examine the tribe village. Okay, let's have a go. So we're about five minutes into the actual story. Ooh, burn oh, pack. Ooh, and a map. It's a map. Hello. Or at least what's left of it. Okay, what does this do? Can you read? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to read all of that. Uh, let's just have a very quick skim of the top part of it. Um, religious rituals for the Yabaka tribe. Can't go with that. Hallucinations. Uh, made out of fire, mostly. Details notwithstanding the base of the bruise. Preparation for it takes all day. Uh, shaman can pull Rachel into a trance. Vomiting and diarrhea are both important, <laughs> are both important elements of the ceremony. Great. Uh, induced by digesting the brew. Only recently, the Western medicine has started to pr 
appreciate that. Okay, well that's interesting. What else have we got? I can definitely hear a snake. There's definitely a snake here somewhere. Ooh, banana leaves. What else have we just learned? Um, small fire, ring of... Hmm. Okay, from the notes I need to make. Helps with patient's amnesia. Okay, light a fire under a ceremonial cauldron. Collect some ingredients. Um, thickest part of the trees, okay. Right, here we go then. Let's see how this pans out. So to find a ceremonial bowl. Ooh, bone knife. That'll come in handy. And some small sticks. Oh, and a hammock. Um, a ceremonial bowl. Was Is that a ceremonial bowl? Nope. Uh, press M to look at the map. Hmm. Okay. Lambda two. Doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. I don't even know where I am at the minute. Hey, Saba. Hey, Dan. Um. Ceremonial bowl. There isn't actually a ceremonial bowl anywhere. But it did say to explore this. Um. Oh, check lambda 2. Find help and check lambda 2. Okay. So where am I now? And where do I need to be? Where am I on this map? Am I AZ2? Might be AZ2. Or is that Lambda 2? Oh, I don't even know where I am. What's this? Sleep map, notebook, inspect, and craft. Um, I have no idea where I am. So if I run in the direction of this, does that mean. Uh, so I want 26, I need to be about 25.46, what am I? If I run in this direction, 25.46. Hello Cyber, it's not my birthday today. 25.46. Well it's not my birthday yet. It will be soon though, so I'm expecting presents from everybody. 1st of November. Hello, coconut. Let's drink you. And let's harvest with you as well, so we've got something to eat. And that will give us two coconut bowls as well, which is good. Uh, it's in November, 1st of November. So we've got about three weeks roughly for the birthday. But yeah, good memory. Very good memory. Let's have a look. So, how have I moved? Yeah, okay, so A... So A2 is actually me, so I'm down here and I need to get over there. So I need to be 26 by 41. No, I don't, I need to be 25 by 46. 25 by 46. You were close though, you were definitely close. Okay, so if I run in this direction, this should get just closer to the, definitely closer to where we need to be. Um, let's have a look and see what we've got. So we're not too bad on all of our things. We might have to stop and actually make a little bit of a camp. Ooh, hello fruit. So we're about six minutes, oh, I've got leeches already. So we're about six minutes into the actual main story. Um, of not really done too much of it yet. We've been streaming for 48 minutes and most of it turned out to be a tutorial which I probably should have skipped if I'm being honest but it is what it is. Let's take some rope because we will need rope. I need loads of rope. Okay 
where are we? Okay, yeah, we are definitely running in the right direction. Where are we going? Let's go this way. No bananas on these trees, are there by any chance? These are banana trees. There is no. Oh, there is bananas. Oh, under camp. Hello. What do we have here? Oh, please don't be the camp I've just come from. How the hell have I just done a massive circle? Oh, I've just done a huge circle somehow. Oh, that's hugely embarrassing. Ah, uh, god damn! I literally thought I was about to come up on something interesting. Right, let's wash. Let's have a quick wash just to make sure we don't keep getting infections. I probably should have built a fire as well, but to be fair, all you need really is um, actually, yeah, for a fire. I think what I might do is chop down some of these. small pile of leaf because then it will start deteriorating over time and when it deteriorates it gives you dry leaf uh, so I know this is what a lot of a lot of people actually struggle to find something to light a fire with um, so a massive tip for that is if you can't find birds nests or something similar uh, if you chop down trees to get some small leaf piles uh, you can see they've got a decay time on it so after that decays it then goes into a small dry leaf and then you can light a fire with those. Um, that's definitely a quick little handy tip. If you really, if you haven't got any, I just go and get as many as you can when you see them. Um, you can pretty much get them from anywhere. Things like this. This is going to be small dry leaf when you break it. Um, what's under here? Ooh, new location. Okay, I'm here now. Oh wait, 2644. Am I actually at 2644? I'm at 2744. Oh, I get it. It's AZ2. Oh. Okay, so, right, I get it. Okay, makes sense. Now I can actually understand what, a map, what the map does. Okay, so you are not on the map itself. But it's actually the... Oh, I get it. Okay, okay, okay. So, based on that, I want to be going to... A2, which means I then need to be towards four, mm, 41 26, roughly. 41 26. 41 26. Which means I need to be going east. So this way. 41 26. I'm about right for the south part. It's just completely this way I need to go. Let's take a few. Whoa! I'm sure, that was a lizard a few sticks on the way just to make some more so again with small leaf all of this is small leaf you can drop all of this down um, and it will eventually decay into small leaf so I'll quickly show you there you go so I need to be that way Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna fall no I'm not yeah, I'm, nope, I survived. Nailed it. Whoa. I oh, know it's just a pig. Just a pig, I'm fine. But it's completely stuck. Should we. No, let's not kill him this early. You are lucky that you're gonna survive because I don't need food yet. Uh, these are really good to get rid of parasites as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave them as well, but uh, the sort of circular caps on top are really good to get rid of parasites and you get parasites when you eat too much um, when you're dirty so what did I need 41 is it 40 on 26 uh, 41 yeah 40 on 26 so I'm nearly on top of it going this way 41 26 Five. Let's go up because it's not 
going to be at the bottom, is it? If it's a camp. 41.25. Okay, it's going to be on top of that. How do we get up there? What is this? How do I get up there? Good question. That's literally the one I just said. Explore the jungle to find a grappling hook. Well, that's not painful. How do you make a grappling hook? Explore the jungle to find a grappling hook. Check Lombarda 2 and make the drink to restore my memory. Okay. Um, so I literally just got to search for a... Hmm. Take all these sticks. These are going to be handy to start building stuff with, to be fair. Okay, so I need to make my way up here somehow, but also need to find our grappling hook. Uh, where am I going to find a grappling hook from? Um, there's no map location that's pre-built, is there? So, cave I just came from, that I started at. That needs a grappling hook to get past there. Okay. Um, whoa, just searching yon jungle, apparently. So, I think we should probably make a camp somewhere to be fair so at least I know where I need to be and where I can okay this just looks like a vantage point I thought there might be something at the end but there's not okay it's not the end of the world um okay we'll go back down collect a couple more sticks on the way ooh that was close Where are we with 8 hours, 8 hours and 9 hours? Okay, we're not too bad for the decay. Uh, we do need them to decay. Unless you can also find a bird's nest. A bird's nest you can use as kindling for fire as well. Um, and you can set fire, well, I say set fire, you boil water uh, to make it drinkable. So to be fair, we could set up here and we'd be right next to water, which is good. Um, but there's no food. There is no food. Um, well there's no real source of food anyway there was a load of banana trees back there where were the banana trees they were roughly at this camp I think so if we go back to 4625 and we use that as an actual base 4625 so we want to go west and then slightly north so if we head maybe that about there Roughly that direction, that should perk us up. Be right. So in the bottom left, you'll see there's a, a lightning logo. Um, so that's where your stamina comes from, and you actually get that back by sleeping, uh, or if you eat a blue mushroom. Blue mushrooms. Let's get rid of where of these leeches are that have attached themselves to the body. Nope, oh, they'll be on an arm somewhere then. Oh no. Are they on a leg? No. Just said I've lost sanity because I've got leeches, but I can't. Ah, there you go. Just click on those to get rid. Take a few more sticks because I'm definitely going to need to make a fire. We'll take some more rope as well while we're here. Because that will always come in handy, but it's quite common. Um, so yeah, things like this. So you've got unknown mushrooms. Uh, these ones are bright green or yellowy but if you actually find blue ones they give you energy so you don't need to sleep um, they're quite common in huge tree trunks um, not these if I happen to run past one I will show you when we go but for now let's head back to where that camp is uh, 4725 or 4625 oh, well, right there literally should be right here Have a look and see what his needs are. It's pretty much everything. Okay, that's not great. What is this? Tracks left by the natives. They don't use the alphabet, only a simple drawing. Mia could help translate this. Oh, of course she could, but she's missing. 
That's relatively funky. OT. Hmm. Okay, so let's just put that on the map. So I'm 47, so I need to go completely south from where I am. It's right on top. Where is south on the map? So it's literally right here. Let's go this general direction. See where we end up. Ah, here we go. Okay, these are loaded. These are banana trees. Loads of banana trees here. Right behind this. Is this the actual? Uh, Forty-six twenty-five. Forty-six twenty-six. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we use as an actual base. Then I guess. Um, one thing. I will say for you is there's no roofs on any of these that is a problem if you put a fire outside uh, the water will put the fire out so I think it's probably best if we make our own little we can I mean we can sleep in that that's not a problem and we've got two logs anyway um, is there anything else we've got to use to start with Thirsty. a few sticks yeah I know we can boil you some water mate oh while we're here and it's raining if you drop coconut bowls on the floor while it's raining, only while it's raining. He now notices his coconut bowl water clean. Drink that is now says empty. Give it a little while when it rains. And that empty. Oh, it's just stopping. That's typical. Oh, we literally stopped. Did I get anything? Yeah, I got three hydration out of that. Um, so it's always good to leave some coconut bowls on the floor. Because um, you get clean water generated through that every time it rains. Um, which is quite cool. Um, so we do need food, we need water, we need everything. I actually need to make a base to be fair. This is I'll, I'll use this as my actual area. To rest. Um, will I make it through the night with that? I'm hoping so. So if I give them a quick kip and we have a look at the bottom left you'll see the stamina going straight back up down here. But his health's going down because obviously he needs food and water and everything else, so you really need to find a balance of what's good and bad. Okay, that's lucky. So now it's raining. Water, 10 hydration, 10 hydration. What was that? What was that? Definitely wasn't a frog. There's something here somewhere. Okay, let's ignore that. Right, let's put down a. Let's put down a bit of a shelter to start with. Um, just make a real quick frame, just here, uh, for the sake of having a fire over the top. No, we won't, because we can't put. A f can we put a fire on top of that? I wouldn't have thought so. If we can put a fire on top of that, I'll put one in the dead center. No, I didn't think so. We'll move it. It's fine. God, I could use a drink. Yep, I'm trying. I'm trying. Double water. We've got water here, we just need to boil it. Um, hopefully the sleep... Yep, so now we've slept, I've got three dry leaf, which means I've got enough to actually start fires. Uh, if we craft one of these two together, that makes a hand drill. So we've now got something to actually start the fire with. Um, let's craft a fire quickly. Small fire, let's do it. No, let's place the frame first. Let's place the frame because then we know where we can actually put the fire. Um, shall we put it... We'll put it there. That, which means I can then put a... craft a fire directly under that. Which means it then won't go out when it rains. Oh, I need one stick. There we go, one stick. Uh, we shall use the hand drill and put in one of our dry leaf. So we're now going to start a fire. Good. So, let's take these and fill it with water from here. Ah, okay, you can't. Oh, I've just drunk dirty water. Oh, I've done it again. Oh. Damn it. 
Uh, so now I've got four parasites by drinking dirty water. That's annoying. That was my own fault. Um, let's just put these here for the minute. I'll put one there, and I'll leave one out so we gain in water. So now, with parasites, I'm just going to take these two logs we found earlier. Start these here. So parasites I now need. I don't think it'll tell me. Uh, consuming plants with an anti-parasitic anti will kill the parasites. Okay, so it doesn't actually tell you where you need to get them from. Oh, there's the bowl. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, that's fine. I can, I'll put the, I'll come make another fire here. That's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have made a camp here. Um, let's cancel this camp. Can't do anything about the fire, but I'll cancel the camp. Leave those there. Yeah, it's fine. Ritual bowl. So it's a shame I didn't see that earlier. To be fair, um, let's put on a fire. Okay, it does snap, which is good. So I've used all my sticks from earlier now, which is a pain. Um, I can do a quick scrounge. That's not a problem. What do we got? Let's go for some bananas. Uh, I'm running out of basically everything. Uh, the meat's expired. Let's destroy it because eating that and cooking is just going to kill me. Or make me really ill. Let's eat all the bananas. These fruits have spoiled. Uh, okay, so these will generate bananas constantly, which is good. Ooh! Brazilian wandering spider in a trap. Nope, not for me. Nope, not even that. You can stay in that trap until I'm ready to deal with it. Whoa, there's a lizard just run past. Okay, let's grab a few more of these sticks down here. We'll make that fire, and we can start progressing a little bit more with the actual main story. Um, we're only about maybe 15, 20 minutes into the actual story of doing stuff. Um, I know the stream's been on quite a while for anyone who's recently joined, but um, turns out the first sort of half hour, 40 minutes was just um, an introduction on what you really should be doing. So, haven't missed too much, if anything. All we've done is run straight down the starting area and ended up here. Um, that's going to put my fire out, which is annoying. Um, let's cook the cook that meat there. I'm going to take this back. Put both of these bowls here and generate some clean drinking water. Uh, I have got leeches as well on an arm or a leg somewhere. It said I was losing sanity. There we go. Get rid of you. No, nope, nothing else. Okay, I'm actually surprised the fire has not gone out yet. I assume it's because I've literally put it on the edge of technically being under that. I thought with there being holes in it, it would have gone through, but apparently not. That's good. It's good to know. Uh, we'll cook some of that meat. Um, and then I can make a second fire in the right area under here. Oh, loads of sticks here, that's good. A few more small sticks. Let's eat the meat that's come off. Um, a bit of charcoal, got some dried leaf. Okay, so we can make another fire, that's fine. I've got the hand drill with full on little sticks. Let's eat that meat. Okay, what's that given? Protein, sanity, and energy. Not bad. Um, I've got four parasites, so that is a problem. I do need to get rid of those parasites. Um, parasites. Okay. Just going to see if there's anything here to get rid of parasites. I know what I should be looking for. It's just if there is any. Ah, hello. That's also really handy. So this, when I make something with it. Uh, so even though it says unknown herb, um, thirsty. It will keep saying unknown herb even though you know what to do with it. Um, which is slightly annoying, but to be fair, if we now craft with it. Oh, I haven't got any other. Okay, so you need to mix that with something and that will. So I need a yellow. So hungry. Oh, I know I know you're dying of everything, but I really cannot do too much for you right now. I'm trying, Brosel. 
I'm drawing. Oh, there you go. Yellow. Okay, so I've got enough to get anti venom now. Should I get. Take the maggots, because they're good to eat away all the flesh. Uh, bone is good to make soup. And soup does not expire, it never expires. Um, I can't drink you. Um, but I do need water to put that in as well. Oh, I don't want to drink the water because that's what's giving me. That's what's actually giving me the parasites. Um, just hoping there's something around here which might help. Uh, if I take this parrot body, harvest them, get some more meat, I'll throw it on the fire quickly. I might need to top that fire up before I actually go through with this main storyline. Um, ah, those vines are what you need to mix in there. Okay, that's good. I'm going to top this fire up just to make sure it doesn't completely go out. Can you kill that? Yes. Come back, come back, come back. Yes, did I get him? Is he dead? Yes. That'll be some meat, maybe some bones. Wee, two raw meat. Okay, good. Not gonna die of starvation just yet. Let's get this iguana meat cooking. Uh, McCaw meat. I know, just give it a few minutes. Just give it a few minutes. And I'm going to put these sticks back on this fire to let that make sure that doesn't go out. Um, ah, these are the ones I need. These are minus parasites, so they look like cups. Oh no, let's just eat them. Actually, no, I'm dirty. That's only going to put more parasites back into me. Let's wash myself. Get rid of all the dirt. Um, and now let's eat these. Gives carbs and minus parasites, which is good. Okay, that's all the parasites gone. Uh, there's a snail here. I don't know what to do with it. I'm not going to eat it. Let's see if we can cook it. Do you cook a snail? Iguana meat. Okay, he's not doing too good at all. Do you cook a snail? Ah, oh, apparently you do. He's not doing too good. He needs fat. Um, what do you eat that gives fat? Um, what can you eat that gives fat? Bananas are protein, and he's got. He hasn't got a lot of protein actually. Um, bananas are carbs, and he hasn't got a lot of carbs. Eat one of these as well, I'll see if that helps a little bit. Hey Jeep Cub, how you doing? That's right. There is no problem with that. What are we doing? Let's take some more sticks. ready to top these back up on the actual fire that we need to pass this on. Uh, you haven't missed much to be fair. Um, it came out a little maybe five, six months ago. It's been in early access for quite a long time though. Um, so, ooh. Hello fruit, hopefully that will give me something I need. What happens if we eat these? What does it do? Carbs and hydration. Carbs and hydration. Okay, let's make a fire with this. And let's see how, no, let's cook this last bit of meat before we do that. So at least I've got something. Cook snail. What does that give? Protein and energy, that's disgusting. It's not worth eating that then. Ok, 
Okay, while that's cooking, let's make a few, let's craft a few uh, bandages. So once we craft some bandages with these yellow ones, we can then put them, uh, put one of the bandages with the unknown herb, uh, just by drag and dropping, which then makes a lily dressing. Now, lily dressing is good for everything. Um, it gets rid of poison, it gets rid of, uh, you can use it for scratches and abrasions, you can use it for pretty much everything. Um, that's quite, that was, when I tried the survival mode, that was one of the best things I found so far, was the lily dressing, that was awesome. Um, again, it's raining, but it's technically, technically, under cover. Because this is where the cover ends, and it's just to the left, so the fire won't go out, but it will go out if you put it in uh, outside of cover in the water but this will also give me some hydration while it's raining which is good um, because these are outside of cover so it's always good to keep your coconut bowls and leave them on the ground um, to be fair I think this is pretty in depth as an actual game as it goes for survival um, Quite a lot of really good mechanics that I love on this game. There's a lot of good survival games, but I think this just does it even better than most. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who can tell me other games that do it awesome, but for me, I think this is probably the best one. Cheers to you. Appreciate the follow, buddy. Let's go. Okay, let's start. Off. Ooh, just saw a nut drop off that tree. What does that give? Aha, fat. That's exactly what I need. Yes. How you doing, buddy? How's things on this wonderful Monday? Ooh, let's harvest you as well completely full on bird feathers, I need to get rid of them or make some arrows to be fair but it's the meat that I really need and the hydration from these my guy's not doing too good at the minute once I get a little bit more I'm going to carry on with the main storyline which is literally right here, when it stops raining I'm going to start my fire here so this is the next part of the story, well actually it's the very first quest of the story as such light a fire and then go back through some memories but I don't want to do it when it's raining because I know it will go out so I'm just going to wait till it stops raining and I need a few more things yeah not too bad buddy uh, it's my last week before I start my new job so I'm trying to do a few daytime streams to be fair just to sort of get them out of the way and done with um, well I say get them out of the way and done with I really like streaming um, it's just hard to do it in the evenings because there's always a million things to do. So I'm lucky enough that I've got a week off before I start my new one. Okay, stop raining. Oh, spiders. Oh. Okay, I definitely know these can poison you or hit you. Can I hit him first? Oh, that was not a good effect. I'm going to take that spider and see if I can cook it. Can you cook a spider? Is that a really weird thing to do? I'll eat that meat that's down there. Is that a really weird... Can you cook a spider? Yes, apparently you can. Well, you've got to do whatever you've got to do in the jungle. And if cooking and eating a Brazilian, Brazilian wandering spider is it. Ugh, not for me. Not for me. I need to find out what this thing does. It looks like you could put probably meat on it, but I don't know why you would when you wouldn't just cook it. Same boat don't start until the 21st. Oh, a little bit longer. Um, so I've had two and a half weeks now before my old one finished and this one starts. Oh, cheers, buddy. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm about two and a half weeks from mine, not from the last one finishing and my new one starting. I'm getting a bit like Jack Nicholson from the old Shining, like I'm just sitting here rocking around waiting for it to start. It's driving me insane. 
Okay, let's make this fire and let's carry on with the actual story and let's see what this does. So this was a this will apparently uh, bring me actually let's just get rid of these bird feathers. I've got so many I'm not making arrows and it's just wasting space. Um, let's make this apparently this will give me memories of what actually happened. Um, so you started the day on you started the game on day one. Uh, day two you did a little bit. Day three you did a little bit, and then from middle of nowhere you woke up at day thirty five or something. Um, scraps. So the scraps are off this tree here. Let's put these in. And you need what else did you need? Psychotria. Hell is that? Okay, don't put them in there then. I assume you need something else. Helicycotria. Is that a thing? Oh, here we go, from the nose. Light a fire under the ceremonial cauldron, collect the ingredients, and put them inside. Strips of vine growing on the th thickest trees of the jungle. Collect the ingredients and put them inside this one. Okay, so it looks like berries. Bring it to the boil and then drink. Let's just get rid of these parasites. Not parasites, they were. There you go, leeches. Okay, so it looks like some form of berry. And I assume, to be fair, as we're in a story, it'll be relatively close because the actual things are here. Um, let's take another couple of sticks just to top up. So it looks like a tree with berries on it. Looks like a tree with berries on it. Lava. Tree with berries and no nut. Yep, I'll eat that. So now it definitely gives fat, and that's exactly what I need. Um, little tree with berries. Ooh, it's a bird's nest. Yep. So that can also be used for starting fires if you run out of dry leaf. Um, some I've I've had multiple people pop into uh, the stream when I've been doing survival and saying that they have no idea how to find dry leaf. Where do you find dry leaf? Um, so you can use uh, birds' nests as well to actually start. Um, there's loads of banana trees here with banana leaves, which is good. I will top up a few more sticks just to just to do that. Um, hmm. Where am I now going to find? Where am I going to find berries on a tree? Ooh, that is tobacco, I think. Yes, tobacco leaf. Now, tobacco leaves, when put with a plain leaf bandage, uh, the normal tobacco dressing is actually for poison. So if you get bitten by a snake, or um, some, or a scorpion, or something like that. Um, he does need a bit of a sleep because he's losing quite a lot of energy. Um, so as I've sort of said, for quite a while with this act, with this game, this is oh, it's burnt. Should we eat it anyway? Yeah, let's eat it anyway. Disgusting. Ugh. Oh no, he lost sanity for eating a spider, but I gained a little bit of protein. Probably wasn't worth it. Drink some water, get the taste down. Let's have a bit of a sleep. So we'll notice in the bottom left, you, uh, this will start going back up again now, but your life goes down, so you get more energy, but you lose life, because obviously you start getting hungrier um, overnight. Um, we'll take the campfire ash and all of the charcoal, because you can use them again, reuse them. Uh, looks like a new Blair Witch game. Um, oh. I did not know that. I didn't know there's a new Blair Witch coming out. Might keep an eye on that. 
or is already out and I've completely missed it. Because, you know, that's something that it sounds like I would do as well. To be fair, further the way this game actually looks, I love it. Um, like the actual lighting effects are awesome, the reflections are awesome. Um, yeah, I just think it's great. Um, okay, so I need a red berry tree. Red berry tree. Where are they? Red berry trees. Are there any around here? Just going a little bit further out just to see. No, it won't always give you stuff at the starting area, but. Oh, that was close. Ooh. Fall and break a leg already. I haven't got anything, anything that would heal it. Have I been under here? Hello. What is this? Big stones, normal stones. Just a load of creepy skulls. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> so the way this sort of plays, story mode is seems to be exactly the same as survival mode. Um, apart from survival, you don't have anything to do. Um, apart from literally survive so the names on the tin if you're looking for a survival game um, but story mode obviously gives you something to do there isn't even anyone I can talk to or do anything with yet um, but it is sort of nice to know that if you didn't want to play the main storyline you don't actually have to play the main storyline if you just want to explore and survive you can just explore and survive um, that's actually quite good I quite like that um, Yeah, it's quite good. Instead of being forced... Oh, what is that? That looks like something I could use. I know, just small leaf piles. Damn it. Looked a bit more funky than a small leaf pile. Unless you... Can you keep hitting again? Unknown bulb. That's a bit huge. I want some small sticks. I'll take some more sticks. I don't know we got any space. Use that bulb. It looks like I might be able to cook that, maybe. Um, where would we go for berries? Let me just double check. It definitely looks like a berry tree. Yeah, it's definitely berries. Collect the ingredients put them inside. The Psychotria viridis. Uh, leaves and red fruit from the shrub. Leaves and red fruit. Okay, so it's definitely red berries. Let's get rid of that leech that's making me insane. I know it's only one sanity, but over time, it really does make up for quite a lot. Um, there shouldn't be too much of a fear of running away from your camp either, because as long as you... Ah, this is... Okay, this is what I found, that apparently Mia can translate and tell me what all of it means if I find these damn berries I can actually carry on oh just saw a nut fall right in front of me that's extra fat that's good oh and another one ironically I'll take all of you okay you can you can sort of hear flies as well which means there is a dead carcass somewhere, which will give. Oh no! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. What was that? Ugh. Oh no, it's a bee's nest! It's not. Oh, damn it! What a fool. Okay, I haven't got a bow and arrow, so I'm not going to hit it, but. You, I know you get honey out of them. I'm going to leave that until I need it. Um. These are bandages, the yellow ones. That red one was nothing. So it literally looks like a berry, apparently. If anybody happens to see anything that looks like a berry, please shout out. No, oh my luck, I've run past it about 12 times. Okay, I've got a rash. How'd you get rid of a rash? 
does it tell you how to get rid of a rash? I assume no is the answer to be fair. Anti... Ah, antihistamine. Okay, that means I need the lily dressing, so basically the best dressing that ever exists. Where's my rash? Oh, there it is. That doesn't look... That does not look good. Ugh. Okay, that should heal over time, which is good. So I now need more lily dressing. Lily dressing is the best thing ever. So it does rashes. It, I definitely know it does poison as well. Ah, is that tobacco? I think this is a tobacco plant. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! Nope, just an unknown herb. I kind of just broke that. Let's make another one of those. So it's always good as well. What about obsidian stone? Can you make thing with obsidian? No. So it's always good to carry a couple of sticks and stones just to make some axes because you will be going through them like anything. I'm um, full on fat but I will keep eating it just because why not? Um, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to get any of this stuff from. It's good to do a bit of an explorer as well. There's always stuff on the floor, and I actually, I've actually got a quest to pick up um, a grappling hook, apparently, which it says you'll find when you search through the jungle. So, not only might I get my berries I need, I might actually find another quest. I think I've got three or four at the minute. Um, I should have been there, Jeep Cub. I was so close. Um, so Chickens lives about 30 minutes down the road from me. But I had a lot of stuff I needed to do with this new job. But literally on the day that I was meant to be down there, they rang me and asked for basically my whole life story. And he, I'd given my passport details, driving license, I had background checks, I had to do everything all at once. I was so close to being there though. Huh. Cave. Hello. What is in here? Cheers, buddy. Appreciate you popping on by. Oh! Got a fever. What was that? Oh, I've got a fever now. How was that? Uh, fever is naturally fought off by your body. You make an infusion of plants and naturally reduces fever will speed up the healing process. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it too much. But I am poisoned. So you've got the skull and crossbones on the bottom left. Which means I should have a bite somewhere. Yep, right there. Let's drag on a tobacco. So tobacco is for poison, which is good. Uh, I've definitely got one of them. Okay, there's a scorpion just hiding in there. Not cool. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, this cave was a bust. Got to jump. Oh, yeah, this cave was definitely a bust. I thought there would have actually been something in here. It looks like there should be things in here, but it's completely empty. Um, definitely missing these berries. I need red berries to continue with the story. Um, and when I say continue with this story, I literally mean do the first quest of the story. Um, I vaguely remember seeing them on the survival mode, I tried. But I definitely haven't found any here. Uh, that is good. But I don't need any more band. Oh, no, I'll take some. I'll only be. I'll only look silly in 10 minutes when I say I don't need bandages and then realise I haven't got any bandages. Craft them because they do take up quite a bit of space. We'll craft them into actual bandages just to keep them. Um, I don't know what that plant was I picked up either. Just an unknown herb. Oh, new entry axe. Ah, now I can make a bow as well and a stone spear. What oh, can make loads of stuff? Here we go long stick and a rope. Sounds simple. 
Uh, I've got a long stick back at the. I've got a long stick back at wherever I'm going to be whenever I find this. Whenever I find. That's another one. Okay, there's loads of bandages, and I found loads of other things, but I just haven't found any of these berries yet. Let's drink this coconut. Harvest you. So these are good because A, you can eat the shell, uh, eat the inside of the shell, and then B, you get the shells back. Now, if you put these on the floor while it's raining as it is, you know, so that's his coconut bowl empty, and that will change in a minute to water bowl clean. So that will generate up to 10 water. time before it gets full so I'm just gonna have a bit of a sip of water here because I'm getting a little bit low and then I'm gonna head back to the camp in a different direction and see if that doesn't help find some berries these help with parasites but I don't have any parasites so there's no point taking them rest. yep and I'm hoping it doesn't pass out because if he starts to pass out I've got problems because I don't have anything to cut out the worms you sometimes get when you fall asleep. So if you fall asleep um, on, a, on a dirty... Oh, okay, where do I need to go quickly? Um, I need to be in 25... 46-25 uh, 46-25 I'm not actually that far at all. So I need to be that way and then a bit to the south, 46, so roughly that direction, nope, that direction, yeah, this direction, do I, ow, 46, 20, Yeah, there you go. Right on top of it, ironically. Whew, okay. Let's drop these coconuts down. This will generate more water when it rains. Um, okay, I've done a massive circle. I still haven't found any of that red stuff. But I need to sleep now before I'm um, poisoned as well. If I can get rid of this poison before I go to sleep, otherwise I might die in my sleep. And that will be a bigger problem. Ooh, damn it! Oh, just passed out. Okay, that should be okay. That should be okay. Now I can have a proper sleep and generate. Okay, with it also raining, I've got a lot of water. Which is good. It's the way you should always keep the coconuts and leave them out because when it rains overnight, you can generate as much water as possible. Oh, is there any bananas I can eat off this tree? Yes, there is one or two. Oh, I've got three out of that in the end. Um, still need water and still need protein, so I need some meat. Still, as I sort of said earlier, I quite like the fact that I can actually play this as if I'm playing the survival mode, apart from there's actually extra things to do. That's quite good. I didn't know the story mode plays like that. Um, really do like that. Such a good idea. Oh, the fire's gone out because I let it go. That was silly. But to be fair, I didn't know I needed the extra bits to start with. Um, this is going to give me poison resist, that's the lilies, these are good, oh and there's no space in my backpack, damn it, now can you just, can I craft that directly onto that, oh you can, oh that's quite good, but I bet it'll drop because there's no, oh no there is space. Okay, 
Yeah, these red berries are really the problem. These red berries are a massive problem. Ah, oh, there's blue mushrooms. That's good. That gives energy, so I don't need to sleep as much. Um, there is not... No red berries, though. That sucks. Also need protein, so I'm going to have to get some meat at some point. Hopefully it should have rained. Yep. Let's keep my water topped up as much as I can, so I'm full on that. Um, I didn't go this way. Let's try this way. Do I happen to see anything this way? Okay, there's a load of meat down there, that's good. Oh, there's loads, it's massive open space. I'm hoping there'll be something down there. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna be back in just two seconds. And I'm back. Okay, let's carry on. Whew, okay, where were we? We were looking for these red little berries. It looks like there's a big clearing, so I'm hoping there should be stuff down here. I'll tell you what I will do, though. I've just remembered. Um, let's clear some space uh, by using up some of these le um, some of these feathers. Let's also use this to craft with a bit of rope to make a bow. Awesome. Now I need arrows. How do we make arrows? Um, what, what arrows? Uh, small stick and two feathers. Okay, small stick and two feathers. Um, craft. Let's make some of these. Small stick and two feathers. more of those. Let's just make a few arrows. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to kill then some of these things that are crawling around and actually make some, uh, get some meat out of them. <clears throat> I do need to make another fire but I don't know if it's worth it yet. Um, I don't know what happens when we actually pass this. Uh, what would happen when we pass the um oh the main quest and no my luck if I happen to build everything here no my luck will move straight away and we won't actually be able to do anything with it so I don't want to waste too much of my resources by plonking myself down here and then loot having to move um so let's just keep it make a few spaces here yeah, let's just make a bit of space here okay it's not perfect but there's a bit more space here now which is good okay so I'm definitely gonna need me I'm definitely gonna need a fire um, I was hoping I wouldn't Oh, I've got a leech on my arm, I can see. Let's get you. Okay, 
Okay, headshots are vital. Because if you get it in the body, it will bleed out, but it will run away. And they run so much quicker than you do, so you won't actually see them. Let's go for the headshot, though. Oh, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Headshot. Yes. So being level zero, basically you wobble everywhere when you try and do anything, and it uses loads of stamina. So the more you level these up, the sort of better you'll get with them. Um, let's use... Uh, I was hoping you could put bones... I don't know how you make a bone knife. There was a way to make a bone knife, and I can't remember the life of me how you do it now. But you need those to get all the worms out. I'm hoping, to be fair, I can not actually get worms and survive a little bit better than you usually do. So I'm pretty good at dying on these type of games. Uh, so we still haven't got the red berries. So I haven't got red berries. They will have not got red berries. Um, let's wash myself in this because I'm starting to get dirty. And I don't want to be eating stuff and making myself sick. Um, We'll need to cook that meat really before it goes, but I've got a few hours to worry about. It's not that terrible yet. Um, why is there no red berries anywhere? There's red plants, there's just no red berries. Well, to be fair, this came out of a red. Mm, no, it's not. That's not. No more like I'll eat it and then die. Judy, the way this happens. Hmm. Let's see what happens. This direction. Okay, so what did I want? 46, 24. Okay, so I'm going away from it, which is good. I actually want to be able to explore a bit. Uh, let's harvest you, make some more bow, uh, make some more arrows. Yeah, no space in backpack, because these bones. Bones are good for soup, but if you've got nothing to actually keep them with, it's just completely pointless. I bet I've lost all of the... Oh no, we've got the feathers here. Good. Okay, cool. I can hear something walking through here. I've just seen a nut drop. Let's eat some of these. Give some fat, which is good. Uh, I need some protein, so I definitely need to be cooking this meat I've killed. I definitely need it. Ooh. Is that another cave? Or is that the same cave? No, it looks like the same cave. That's oddly annoying. How have I just come back to the exact same cave again? How do you even do that? Let's eat some of these, that'll give me some more fat. Yeah, how do I come back to the exact same place? Then again, at the very start of the stream, I somehow come in a massive circle and ended up at the point I started out, which was awkward. Somewhere. Hey Crip, how you doing buddy? Take some of this purple. Purple stuff's good. But there's no space. Of course there isn't. Um let's craft you down there. Let's craft you there. Okay, got loads of space. Good. I am currently waiting to start. I've finished my uh, old job. I'm waiting to start mine, so I've got a week now of nothing. So I'm going to try and get a couple of daytime streams out of the way and done with. Uh, 
Um, no, I don't know where I need to go. Where are we? Uh, 45, 30. I need to be at 47, 25. 47, 25. So I need to be in that direction. Roughly this direction. If I can read a. If I can understand how coordinates work. Well, it's not even coordinates, it's just. Forty five twenty eight. Yeah, so it's going down. Okay, that is the right way then. Um what did I need to be at? Forty seven twenty five. Forty seven twenty five. Forty seven twenty five, so it's now this direction. Roughly. Hoping I should get me in the right area. Bloody leeches. I'm gonna have to leave the leeches on in a minute because if he passes out and I start and one of the worms buries itself in my arm from the dirty floor, I'm in trouble because I haven't got anything to scrape it out yet. Oh, here you go. Okay, this is the house. Well, I say the house, this is the camp I just found at the start, so I'm using this as a uh, using this as a home at the minute. Okay, let's put a fire under here and let's start cooking a few things. And let's get rid of the leeches while we have a few minutes to actually do it. Let's go. No problem, buddy. Appreciate that. Let's have a bit of a kip. That should give me yeah. That should give me loads more energy, which is good. Should survive for a bit. And it's rained twice overnight, which means there should be loads of water to drink. Forty hydration, which is good. It gives me yeah. So I'm full on that. So I'm now really struggling with protein. So let's make a fire. And I've actually got meat to cook, so it seems pointless just carrying it around. When? Oh, I need small sticks. Damn it. Um, let's get rid of these logs. How many do we need? No, that's that. Uh, let's make a quick fire and then we'll start cooking some things. Um, what I really need to do is just survive long enough. Which it looks like I'm going to do. We should be fine to survive. Just need to survive long enough to build something to start exploring. Um, which of meat's going to expire first. All of these. So this has come from the same place, I assume. Right, let's cook with meat. Uh, I think, I'm not 100%, but I think, did I see, you can put that around it, put some stone around it, and that means you can cook more stuff, or it means it might make it last longer, I cannot for the life of me remember, but I need tons of big stones, tons of big stones now. Um, and I think you can even only carry one at a time if I'm right. Which might be painful. But while I'm on the hunt for small stone uh big stones. Um let's have a look and see if we can top up on A small sticks, uh B normal sticks, C rope, and manage to maybe look out ooh, like this with a coconut. Drink the coconut, uh, harvest the coconut, eat the flesh. That gives us two more bowls, which means there's two more. That's 20 more uh, hydration for when it rains. So this is starting, it's starting to come together. I'm starting to be able to actually look after myself a bit, which is good. 
starting to be able to actually survive to a point I'm not panicking anymore. So I've got bananas growing here, which is good. So I've got loads of carbs coming in. Um, there's water over there, but I need something to deal with the water, but that will come. Um, I actually think you can make a bit out of a coconut, thinking about it. I don't remember, but I think you can actually make it out of a coconut. No, these are just storages, and these I need to make to save the game. So I still can't save the game yet, but I will when I make one of these. So let's make one of these now. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to save anything I've done. Let's just make a quick small shelter. Uh, let's put it... Can we put it inside one of these? I don't think we can. It looks a bit weird anyway. But I don't want it too close. I sort of want it to match where we are. Uh, we can put it there though. That'll do. What do we need? Two logs. Ah, oh, it's ironic. I've just broken... Damn it. Oh, I am my own downfall. I assume there was two logs there for a reason when you started. And I've just broke it down for sticks and long sticks. It's fine. I have my own downfall. If I can chop one of these down. These will give me two logs. I've already got one log anyway now, so I don't have to really worry about it too much. Just running out of steam. Take one of these logs and run it back over, and then I think I need quite a lot of long sticks. And definitely need palm leaves. What do we need next? Six long sticks. Okay, I can get those. Is that a long stick? No, that's two short sticks. Uh, where is the... Let's eat this meat. That should give him some protein. There you go. Now my life's just shot back up. And energy should just shot back up. There we go. I'm full on everything. Beautiful. Oakley doakley. Let's take some sticks take back, I've got some more meat I can harvest from you, we've got some more feathers which means I can make more bow, uh, make some more arrows for the bow everything is sort of falling into place um, everything is slowly falling into place not doing too bad we are not doing too bad at all I expected to do worse in the story mode than what I do normally on survival but I'm actually oddly so far, touch wood. Doing better. I didn't expect it. But I'll take it. Uh, let's top up some more sticks. Uh, short sticks. Uh, small sticks. Let's take one of the long sticks. I should have had two. I should have dropped two in that. Oh, I think it's mugged me off. It's only gave me one. Oh. That's not fair. And again, life isn't fair, I guess, is it? Put you there. Okay, so we need a couple more trees to be chopped. Uh, might go for a thin tree, shall we? No. Let's go for a bit of a thicker tree so we get some logs. That should give me the five I then need to finish it off. Um, yeah, there's another... This is for bandages. So I'm thinking... Considering this is the only the start of the game and I haven't actually passed any real part of it, I'm hoping that there should be these berries around here. I do vaguely remember seeing them. Um, but as ever, I think I completely ignored them because I didn't need them at the time. Long sticks. There was another one. I definitely saw four pop down. There we go. Four. That should finish now. Uh, the shelter, uh, which means I can actually save the game and I'm not going to lose out on anything. Oh, I need one more. One more for the one I got mugged off for earlier. I have a chop down. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to eat the meat we're cooking. Drink some of the water as well, because that'll then regenerate more water as it's raining, which is good. That meat's still raw, there's no point eating that. 
Now I've got a hammock to sleep in, which is good. Just need a few more bits of wood. Let's get rid of the leeches that have popped on. Where are they? Are huh? where are you on an arm? Let's get rid of you. Chop down this one. Take the second long stick back as well because you can store these and you can actually make a storage uh, center for things, which is quite cool. Which I probably will make at some point. I need loads of rope now. Nine rope. I think I've got nine rope anyway. Yeah, uh, 26 palm leaves. I need palm trees, these things. There should be loads of palm trees around, to be fair. I should never struggle with palm trees. I don't think I've ever been in an area where there is palm trees are not beyond rife and everywhere. And I need 26, I'm gonna need loads of them anyway. Uh, that is not a palm tree. Mm, palm leaves. A couple more that have just fallen off. That is a palm leaf anyway. There's a stone. So I need some big stones. Uh, while I remember seeing them, but there isn't any yet. Stupid piece of shit! Damn it. So that was a stick and two stones. Oh no, just one. So it's always good to keep sticks and stones, ironically. Uh, I can't pick any of that up though. Uh, what I might do is just get rid of some of this, make some space with arrows to be fair. Yeah, we'll make some arrows, we'll make some space. I'm making quite a lot of arrows. Um, small leaf pile. Oh, that wasn't. Oh, I thought that was. Ah. Uh, okay, that makes sense. That's probably why I didn't do any. That's why I didn't do what I assumed it would have done when it said. Um, eat. That's burned, but I'll eat it anyway. So I lost sanity but gained protein. Still better than nothing. Let's drop some sticks on there, keep the fire going. Because it's going to be hell to get that back out when I've got nothing. Let's see if there's any bananas that have grown back. Some protein, uh, some calves would do quite well. There's a couple here. Cool. So, just really want to finish off this shelter so I've got somewhere to actually save this game. There was a trap down here with a spider in it at some point, but oh, there it is. But eating a spider actually get, uh, lost loads of insanity, and I don't know why. Although, I guess to be fair, if I had to eat spiders all day, it would probably make me insane too. So, I sort of get it. But at the same time... You know... Worst case scenario... If it's your only source of... Food... Get up and be eating those spiders, I guess. I'd hate it. I uh, need one more. Is there one more laying around by any miraculous miracle? There is not. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to have to chop another tree down just to get it. But it is what it is. Uncle 
please down. Yeah, I literally need one more. How annoying. One more. Take a few sticks. Take some more small sticks. feathers yet. Well, I'll drop this one down, it's not really what I wanted, I was hoping there'd be a single one on its own because I will forget that these are here and then I'm going to lose them which would be a pain. I guess worst case scenario is not really the end is it? Things always grow back. No, two more long sticks. Ah, oh. I bought one spare one back. One more long stick, and I've got somewhere to save the game. Uh, this one will get chopped. So some trees can get chopped, and some can't. To be fair, you start you start to really notice what can and can't. Um, the more you sort of play. Let's just take this for the minute. I'm gonna leave all the rest of that there and come back to it. Yes! Small shelter crafted. Drink this water. Keep as much hydration as I possibly can. I'm going to save this game in slot 2, which is a story. Because uh, the first one is just my survival to sort of get to know the game and sort of see what's going on. Um, to be fair, I'm quite enjoying that, but I think I'm going to enjoy this more. Because it's, it is exactly the same as survival, apart from... The only real difference is this actually has the story to do something so obviously I could just sit here forever and just keep cooking and expanding slowly but it's exactly the same as the survival mode it's just there is not something to do like there is here so I think I'm actually going to be sticking with this one more often I think I'll be playing this uh, story mode more than I will be um, the survival to be fair Seems like a good place to end for this particular one. Um, so we're full on everything. Uh, managed to make a save. Uh, thank you for everyone for joining me today. Um, I'm going to be uploading directly to YouTube straight after. Um, so if anyone wants to check out my YouTube channel as well, give it a like and subscribe. That would be mightily handy. Uh, same with Twitter. Uh, that's where I normally give advance notice of when I'm going to be starting everything. Um, I do have a schedule on the Twitch page, but I don't use it too often because it's quite hard to actually get a schedule in at the minute. But I do want to, I do want to be sticking to it, um, really, because then it helps everyone when they know I'm going to be doing this. Um, I'm going to be sticking with the story mode. So if anyone wants to uh, hit follow, and you'll get notifications of when I'm going live back with it again. Uh, you can agree, come and join us, um, and carry on with the rest of the story mode. So, thank you for everyone joining. I'll uh, we'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.